We were now going to go into an interesting conversation. Uh, if you can see in my hand, this is a clipper right here. There are various types of clippers on this table, actually. And I'm wondering specifically what this one is used for. And so we're going to speak to Godwin Kofi, a professional baba. He's a graduate of the University of Professional Studies, Accra. And well, he has decided that, well, this is my passion, and so I'm going to follow it to the latter. I'm not only going to cut hair to feed myself, but also to inspire others into doing what they love, following their dreams, following their passion. Godwin, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, this is your second time coming here, right? Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. City FM feels, City TV feels like a home for me. Awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome. So quickly tell us, uh, from the first time you were here, did it impact you in any way? A lot. Because mm. there's been a lot of differences the moment I left CGTV, mm -hmm. a lot of attention on social media, right. a lot of people texting me, telling me that they are inspired about what I'm doing mm. and all that. And then it gave me um, the courage right. to pursue my dream and then start a business for myself. The way you are going, my producers are going to ask me to give you an invoice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's good to have you back on the show. Man. So today you're going to run us through a haircut. Yeah. yeah? Which yeah. one are we looking at? Mm, we are looking at the show itself in... When I saw the artwork, it was about a creative lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Definitely. I thought about doing something very creative yeah. today. All right. To just show what I have. Mm. So. Okay. So you have your model here. It. So let's get to business. All right. Yeah. All right. So we'll be chit chatting even as you continue to cut sure, his sure, hair. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So when I step into your shop um, and I have no plan of what look I'm looking at, I want to have at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. What would you look out for before suggesting a look to me? Okay, first is going to be your personality, mm -hmm. okay? F ranging from where you work, whether mm -hmm. you're in the corporate world, you're in the music industry, you are mm -hmm. a business owner, then about, we go, we go, we go straight to your hair style, mm -hmm. the shape of your head, then I decide what kind of haircut I give to you. Mm. And uh, this leaves your customers satisfied or sometimes, have you ever had an instance where you have suggested a particular look, dished it out, and then there has been complaints. Obviously, sometimes you think this kind of hairstyle is going to fit the person mm -hmm. because you have the prof uh, you, are, you, are, you are professional, you are professional, and you know what you are mm -hmm. about. At the end of the day, people get disappointed about stuff. Yeah, you understand. Sure. So there has been instances where I might have suggested a haircut for someone, but they are not satisfied. Mm. At the end of the day, I apologize, and then promise the person for a better haircut next time. Right. Yeah. So um, if I should stop in your shop, do you what, what are some of the services you provide? Do you just cut the hair? Because other shops, they do the dye and some do the sporting waves and all that. What, what are the services you provide at your shop? Okay. So aside haircuts, we do dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. Dreadlocks. And the dreadlocks is done by this model. All the, right. The model That's I'm using today, he does the dreadlocks for Reflect Ghana. Mm -hmm. Then we do pedicure too. Right. We do manicure mm. and we do makeup, right. we do nails and yeah, car hair basically. Okay. So what are you doing differently? What is it that distinguishes you from the other barber since you call yourself a degree barber? Okay. So the degree barber itself is a brand that isn't just about cutting hair. Mm. But I want to cut hair to be able to inspire others who are in mm. school. You understand? There are people who are in school who are all waiting to graduate, go and look for a job. But looking at the number of unemployed graduates in mm -hmm. Ghana right now, I don't think if we all want to go to the corporate world, go and look for a job, finish school, go and look for a job, it's going to help us. Mm -hmm. So we all need to start something. So I would want to cut hair and inspire people. So I don't just cut hair. So when you are in my seat, I try to talk to you about starting your own thing, especially when you are a student. Mm -hmm. You understand? And more, moreover, to the haircut is an exceptional haircut. Right. It's not just that I want to use haircuts to inspire people, but it's something that God has also given to me. Mm. You understand? So the haircut turns out also good. Mm. Yeah. But at what age did you start cutting hair? I started cutting hair, let me say, when I was in high school, mm. from three. Mm -hmm. so probably 17. Right. 17. So you used to cut the hair of your mates? Yes, my seniors in mm -hmm. school. I went to Akwaman Senior High School. Where? Akwaman Senior Akwaman High School. Akwaman, oh yeah. great. Hmm. 
So you just cut your mates and then Charlie, you come back <laughs> and do some magic on your hair. <laughs> <laughs> so last time when I was on the show, I mentioned huh? that my school dad, my mm -hmm. school dad was a barber. Oh, right. Really? Okay, so I used to study him mm. because I had a lot of financial problems when mm -hmm. I was in high school right. and I needed to make ends meet. So yeah. I took on the uh, initiative mm -hmm. to start learning how to cut hair, but my school dad didn't know. Okay. He never knew about it. Mm. And so a time when he had a lot of clients that he couldn't save. Right. And so I you told to him, pass on. yeah, sure. Okay, great. Now you say you, you, you cut hair to pay for your fees in tertiary. Yes. yes. Yeah. What was the strategy? What was the modus? What, what methods did you employ? Okay, so um, balancing school with education is mm -hmm. quite difficult. For those of you who are watching today and know that it's very difficult to balance school and education, but nothing mm -hmm. is impossible under the sun. Understand? It all depends on how you strategize your time and then manage your time to make all those things work. Mm -hmm. Because most, most of the times in the tertiary school, we don't spend um, all our time in class. In class, yeah. Sometimes you have off days, mm -hmm. so half time I go to the barber shop. Yeah. I used to I used to go um, cut people in the hostels, right? In their balconies and all that until That's I had like home service. The shop, yeah. Okay. So I was managing my time well, mm. and then cutting hair. Right. I see you came with about what four, or five different types of clippers. Yeah. Uh, what do you use each one for? Okay. So mostly. For those of us who don't know much about barbering, mm. we call every machine that that you see on the table as a clipper. Mm. But the actual fact is that we have a clipper and we have a trimmer. Mm. So there's a difference between a clipper and a, and trimmer. a trimmer. So for instance, this. Mm -hmm. This is a clipper. Right. Because he has long blades okay. and it cuts not close to the skin. Okay. So if I'm supposed to do the lineup. Mm -hmm. I can't use this for it. Right. This cuts very close, close to the, to the skin. skin. So mm -hmm. when I cut, you're going to see the lineup. Okay. So, so it, this, it, is a this helps you to give uh, the, the shape of, for, for the hairline. Sure. Okay, great. And this is the clipper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. 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 So how long do you think it will take you on an average to cut one hair? Okay. Basically, um, to have a fine haircut, mm. I think patience. Right. Patience gives you a very good haircut. So, mm. somewhere in the US, barbers charge based on time. Time. You understand? Mm. So, for a 45, 45 minutes haircut, they could charge you for like, let's say, $60. Mm. You understand? But Ghana, down here where we are, we are in a rush. Most barbers are in a rush to make more money. Yeah. Their value is dependent on how many barbers, how many clients they cut yes, they and okay. not the quality mm. of hair they deliver. So yeah. it depends. Mm. For me, patience is virtue for me. Yeah. But averagely, so, how much time would you spend on one cut? One cut, say 25, mm. 30 minutes, it should be done. And it should be, it yeah. will bring out the best look. Yeah, hair cut and a beard shape. And the beard shape, right. Now tell us, is there any difference between cutting the hair itself and then the shaving of the beard? Is there any difference between the two is one more difficult than the other. Do you need a particular skill to be able to shape the beard or to cut the hair? Yeah. Most, there is something we call beard sculpting. Mm -hmm. Beard sculpting and then a haircut. Mm. So, most barbers are good at cutting hair, but they wouldn't give you a nice beard shape. Right. Then again, when you go outside Ghana, you have um, barbers who charge for beard shave. shave. Okay. So, they don't only charge you, they, only, they don't only charge you for the haircut, mm -hmm. then Indirectly, you include your beard. Okay, so that's there's, there's a separate charge, separate charge for, for the beard shave and beard a separate shape. charge for the haircut. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow, that's awesome. So for for people who come in and say have a faded hairline, like yeah. I do, my hair is receding, okay. and um, is it difficult trying to shape up the front? Because at the times people step into the shop, they are like, okay, don't shape up the front because my hair is receding. But you, as a professional barber, what kind of advice would you give to such a person? Okay. There are a lot of people who have um, hairline problems mm -hmm. and most is based on how how they have started cutting their hair from infancy because mm -hmm. most barbers will always want to achieve sharp lines. Mm -hmm. But the secret is that achieving sharp lines doesn't necessarily mean you should be pushing the patient's hairline mm -hmm. backwards. Okay. But it's actually brushing. You see what we have here? Yeah. This tiny hairs in front mm -hmm. here. 
we call them the baby hair. The baby hair, yeah. So you are you are just trying to line up the baby hair so it looks very 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 sharp. Exactly. And it's not compulsory that when a person doesn't have a baby hair that can achieve a sharp line, line you should it. shift it back. Okay. Uh, so it's basically trying to shape the baby mm -hmm. hair rather than um, focusing on giving a sharp line. Right. Yeah. Right. So there are others also who have their braids on, but yeah. then they would want a sharp line yeah. or perhaps some drawings in, in their hair. Yes. How do you go about that? Is that difficult? Yeah, designs mm -hmm. is not something that any baba could do because it's a journey of no return. It's yeah. like drawing with uh, an ink. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you are drawing with a pencil, so you yeah. have the option of an eraser to wipe. Exactly. Yeah. But with the hair, do you? I do. Okay. So how, how do you... I don't know how do you address a, a wrong design if, if you're supposed to give me a particular design and you get it wrong now the hair is off so how do you address that okay for me I've never had a wrong my hair design has never gone wrong oh you always get it right yeah because I practice okay, okay maybe someone is booking an appointment mm -hmm. for a hair design like something like this we're seeing some of your stuff on yes. screen now sometimes I practice okay. I draw at home before mm -hmm. hitting the barber shop okay so and when I'm drawing too, I draw with an ink. I don't draw with a pencil. Pencil, okay. you get it. So, so you make it more challenging for more yourself. More challenging for myself as if I'm working on the exactly. head. Exactly. Right. So it always goes right. Mm. How long did it take you to do this particular design? This is the I call it the dragon wings. Okay. I don't know if you have watched Game of Thrones. Yeah. Okay. When they were about mm -hmm. releasing the final episode, and I did this, okay. it took me for about let's see an hour and thirty minutes to finish. Right. Yeah. Right. So what, this is what, uh, Guinness? Yeah, Guinness Ghana. <laughs> I did it for Guinness. <laughs> was it for a promo or something? <laughs> no, sometimes like, I just want people to know what I can do. Okay. 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 And mostly doing um, designs on brands like this mm -hmm. draws a lot of attention, attention to you. So this really made a lot of waves. Mm, so that's a strategy that. you have yes. employed? Yeah. Also, man, it's working for you, huh? Yeah, it's working perfectly. Great, 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 great. So now, what, what are we doing? We're going to do the sharp line now? Yeah, the sharp line now. Okay. So we are taking it from the baby hair so and not trying to exactly. push it to... We're cutting off the baby hair. Yes. But then we're shaping the hair itself on the head. That's right. Okay. That's right. And we use the trimmer to do what I'm doing. You don't use mm -hmm. the clipper. Okay. Most barbers, you could go to a barber shop then you only have... Mm one clipper okay the baba uses one clipper to do for everything, everything. Mm. another day when you try doing that you leave cuts mm -hmm. on your client's skin okay which is not very professional great, great so great, great. being a professional mm. baba you need to use the right tool for the right job for the right job yeah. also, 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 also. yeah so as you can see that the degree baba it's doing the shaping, what we call the sharp line. Yes. Taking off the baby hair. That's right. And then bringing out the shape of the person. So do you take into consideration the shape of the forehead when you're doing this? Yeah, you need to consider it because it has to fit the person mm -hmm. when you are drawing the line. Right. You shouldn't overcut. Okay. Because when you do, it's going to look weird, awkward. Mm. So a lot of things goes into cutting hair. Yeah. Mostly we say it to be very easy, but... That's not. Only barbers understand. That's not. Yeah, but then, so how long would it take you to appreciate the shape of my head, the type of hair I carry before you start cutting my hair? Because I step into your shop and mm -hmm. say, you're free, there's no one. I need mm -hmm. a haircut immediately. Okay. How long will it take you to appreciate the design or the structure of my head, the type of hair I carry? Does it all matter anyway, the texture of my hair? Um, the texture of your hair also matters in a way. <laughs> but to, to be able to arrive of, on the kind of um, hairline and how your hairline mm. is supposed to go it's going to take it's going to take me throughout the process because i do hairlines after cutting the cutting hair. the hair so whilst i'm cutting your hair i'm thinking about mm. which kind of shape i'm supposed to give you right okay but which would you advise shaping before cutting or cut, no. uh, cutting before cutting shaping. before yeah. shaping. Right. mostly i don't even advise my clients usually i can there are some kind of clients who wants to cut their hair go come back mm. a week and shape mm. It's also awesome. one thing that pushes your hairline back. Okay. Regular shaping also pushes mm. your hair, hairline back. And it's always advisable to also have your personal clipper. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so there are those who carry the fro, yeah, those who wear the afro, yeah, and then they want to constantly shape it so it brings out the beauty of the afro, yeah. And you think this also pushes the hairline back, sure, sure, it pushes the hairline back when you are not having a professional work on your hair mm. because so, they might be follow, you see, when you you have an afro mm -hmm. and you shape the hair, right? Okay, the longer hair that used to be there mm -hmm. becomes like it becomes taller longer mm -hmm. than the new the hair base, growth the, okay. and you always want to get a sharp line mm. so you are forcing to go meet the longer the hair. longer hair yeah okay so, okay. I know the, the, so it pushes the hairline back that's right that's I right see. i see i see i see so now you're coming down to the beard the beard yeah mm. and every beard shape is dependent on the client's preference or you also give professional advice when it comes to shaping over beard yeah you would always give your professional advice but mm -hmm. most clients have their preferred beard shapes okay so you have to do your work but yet still meet their expectations mm. you understand so i want a particular shape for my beard mm -hmm. you as a professional you know that it wouldn't fit or suit my face yeah what do you do okay so you advise mm -hmm. after advising the client is yet to accept or not mm -hmm. the client doesn't accept you have done your job mm. but yes. if, if you say you have done your job i, I, I beg to differ because mm -hmm. if i step out there and i do not look good in a particular shape and i'm asked who did this work yeah it comes back to you but it's left on to you to be sincere enough to who is asking mm -hmm. because you have been advised professionally to have mm -hmm. this kind of shape but you refused yeah so at the end of the day if somebody is criticizing and you want to be honest enough mm -hmm. you're going to say oh i want to choose so yes. i decided on but yeah. do you insist sometimes you, you, yeah you insist <laughs> you insist to a uh -huh. level right. because there are some clients who might fight with you exactly because they, this is what i want i said this is what i want some clients will even run away for yeah. instance last week there was a client in my shop who had afro mm -hmm. okay he needed he needed to cut his hair. So I was cutting the hair and I told him that, oh, I needed to cut the top a little bit for the haircut to fit his face. Mm. But he was like, no, he needed mm -hmm. it to be that way. I advised, right. he didn't listen. He was telling me if I did wh whatever I wanted to do, mm -hmm. he, was, he was not going to come there again. Wow. So I just had to do wow. whatever he wanted for him. Now, let, let's look at the difference between cutting male hair and female hair yes. i'm asking because i step into a barber shop and i see the prices or the charges are different yeah for male hair is different for female hair is different how yeah. is this so okay it is different to cut a female hair especially when the hair is permed okay you understand mm. perm cuts are it's, it's, it's very difficult to cut a perm hair mm. so the price will change right okay because the more difficult the work is yeah, um, the, the higher, higher the charge. value you charge for it. Awesome, yeah. awesome. And then uh, white people hair and then black people yes, hair. That's a difference yes, as well. Yes, mm. yes. Right. So, um, there are people who also just want to break off the hair. Uh, they're like, okay, it's too long. Perhaps my beard is too long. I need you to just trim it up. What kind of advice do you give to such a person before you go into the work itself? Someone who wants to trim the trim beard. off, yeah. So that people who don't have the beard growing and spreading all over the face, okay. but then there's a wine line out, but then it grows and protrudes out of the face. You see the Wolverine type of hair, yeah. Yeah, but people want to level <laughs> it up and, and shape it well. So, what kind of advice would you give to such a person? Ooh, I'm still trying to get a question, but so you see the picture I'm painting, the Wolverine type of hair. Okay. Okay. So uh, uh, you see, there's the beard. Like now we have the beard gang people. They yeah. have the hair growing in the face, and so you're you're able to give us a, a bigger shape, mm -hmm. and then it lies flat on the cheek, and okay. then it looks perfect. Perfect. But there are people who don't have that, but they still want you to give them that same type of shape. Okay. The advice, the ultimate advice, is for you to try and grow your beard mm -hmm. and there are um oils and sprays that help you to you think grow. they work they work you sure because i have some at my shop i'm selling I, and I, it works I, it works perfect do you use it yourself no 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 why I not use it because <laughs> i'm not that person who is like i don't know who really loves beard okay when it grows so the baba is not a hair person <laughs> <laughs> the degree of is not a hair person. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> That's like what ironical. Yes. The degree of himself is not a hair person. <laughs> but you've got hair on your face. Yes, yes. It grows it grows naturally. Mm. Okay, so more often like it's anxiety because and peer pressure. Sometimes mm -hmm. I say it's peer pressure. Right. 
you understand? Because most of these young guys in the university and you know, all mm -hmm. that, like, they always want to have beard growth. Maybe mm -hmm. there is a there is a friend in the class who has beard naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I want to look like them. Exactly. So, and we feel like the beard revolution is this. Mm -hmm. Every young guy wants to have a beard. Yeah. So if that's the case, mm. let's put in a catalyst. Right. So yeah. th this brings me to my question: Who yeah. barbers the barber? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Who cuts your hair? At the end of the day, <laughs> the barber also needs a barber at a certain uh -huh. point. Okay? And for the fact that I am the degree barber doesn't mean I'm mm -hmm. the best barber in the world. Yeah, sure. Actually, I'm not, like, pushing so much to be the best, best barber in the world. Mm -hmm. I just want to change the world with barbering. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I, I also have other um, um, barbers who work mm -hmm. with me at the shop. Right. He's the eventuary barber. That's what, mm -hmm. that's what we call him. He cuts mm -hmm. my hair even in time I'm due for a haircut. Awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah, so yes, run us through the design you've just done. Yeah. Uh, what is it and then uh, how difficult was it? Okay. So if the cameras can capture this. This is something I did for City TV. Awesome. Okay, because I'm coming to City mm -hmm. TV today and the topic is about creative, creative lifestyle. lifestyle. I felt like creating something. It is like a, ba a billboard, mm -hmm. okay? A folding, a folding billboard, like right. it folds and then... City TV pops up. It's wow. a TV. It's, wow. a, it's a star TV. Wow, wow, wow. Awesome. So that's basically awesome, awesome, awesome. So you, you can see it for yourself. Amazing designs there. We've done all this in just about what twenty minutes. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. The degree Baba <laughs> working or his magic right here on breakfast day. Hi, I hope you enjoyed the show. Do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on City TV.